Hi guys, I'm Nix here and I was streaming yesterday while I was doing bracers for my Paladin Tier 2 set for the artwork. You can see it later in the video. But I decided to stream it while I did it. And I know for the future that I'm gonna, if I'm doing something that has to do like two shoulders or two bracers, can be the same. I'm first gonna do it on stream to try everything out and just do one part. And then I'll make a tutorial video later on to show you how I made it. I think that's the best way I could do it. So I can both stream and make tutorials. So this video that's coming up is from the stream yesterday. So I'm gonna try and cut out everything when I'm talking to the viewers or anything like that. And I'm gonna talk, gonna record my voice talking while I do things to things. So it's easier for you to understand and come hang on to everything. So anyways, this is the tutorial. This is gonna be, I think I'm gonna make either two or three parts. The first part is gonna be the base, all of these pieces. And then the second is gonna be details and putting everything together. And the third is gonna be painting. Uh, painting I will do like the last month before DreamHack because I want to paint everything together. But yeah, here's gonna be three different tutorials. So I hope you will enjoy this and I'll see you after I'm done. So bye. Hi guys. So this is the artwork I was talking about. This is Tier 2 Paladin from World of Warcraft. And we're making the bracer today. I've already got my pattern here. And if you need any help with making a pattern, just talk to me or message me. I might consider making a tutorial in the, in the future, how to make patterns and such for anything you can think of. It's really easy and simple. Uh, I'm al already started cutting out the pieces in craft foam. Uh, you need two pieces in this craft foam. Um, you can use any kind of foam, but I'm using two millimeters because it's thin and easy to work with. Uh, also, keep in mind you need two of them because we're making two bracers, and you need to cut them out before you cut out anything else because we're gonna use the old pattern, this one, uh, for making the small pieces. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now when we have two pieces of the big base, we're gonna make the smaller base for stacking above, like stacking on, to up on top your arm. So you take your pattern that you use for the base, you fold it, and then we're gonna draw um, like the little, it's gonna be the same, but it's gonna be a smaller version of the big one. So what you wanna do is just fold it, and then you can draw for hand how big you want it to be, or how small you want it to be. After you draw, when you draw this, you can just cut it out. So here you got the little pattern, and you can see if I place it up to upon the big base, you'll see that it looks like a tiny, like a tiny version of it. And this is gonna be the stacking of it. So this is from my stream, as you can see. Um, so what we're gonna do now is make uh, cu to cut out the pattern, the tiny pattern for the bracers. I'm also like I'm fast forwarding this quite a lot just to not there. There's I have like two hours of footage. So I'm trying to cut it down as much as possible. So we're gonna cut these out, and after that we're gonna make the stacking. There's gonna be two parts more, and this is gonna be above or on the tiny big one. So I'm fast forwarding forwarding this to you because I'm just making it the same pattern again to make the tiny patterns that's gonna be above. And this took me a while before I got got one correct so I'm I'm cutting it out so <laughs> you don't need to see it. So here we go. Here's the last two patterns uh, that's that we're gonna use. And what we're gonna do now is just cut it out. We're gonna cut those out in craft film as well. Yeah, so now we have our all of our craft form pieces, and uh, we have two of each because we're making two bracers, not just one. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna need now is actually cover it in warbler. They are amazing. I love these. So what we wanna do now is just cut the pieces out in this warbler. Don't do it like I did. I did it really sloppy. So they're super big and way too big. Use like a centimeter of warbla on the outsides on everything or on every piece of pattern. Um, 
I did it sloppy because I was sitting in my bed and I was tired and I just wanted to do it. So yeah, don't do like I do. Try and save it the Warbler. Warbler is expensive. So now we're gonna go on to the last part. So we're gonna cover every piece of craft foam in Warbler. So what you wanna do is just... Uh, I usually heat the, the side where I'm gonna press it down. So I'm gonna heat it up and then I'm gonna press it down. As you're gonna see here. I'm gonna show you. So I heat it up, mm, I'm, I'm just a little bit, not too much, and then I press the craft foam on top of it so it gets stuck, so there's no bubbles being underneath. Then I turn it around and I continue uh, heating the warbler up and pressing it down as I go. Something I forgot to tell you is you can use uh, baking paper or wax paper underneath so it doesn't get st stuck on your table or whatever you do. So I have my sister in the background, don't mind her. <laughs> I like to use my sculpting tools to like press the edges into the, like press the warp line to the edges just to see the edges clearer when I cut like tiny tiny like pieces. Um, I, I cut like in, into the warp, like close to the craft foam to make it easier to fold. I'll show you that in just a second. As you can see here you cut with your something it's like you see I do tiny tiny bits of <laughs> cuts into the warbler it, it will make it easier to bend and to make the edges more pointy so you'll see the results in just a sec I'm just gonna fold everything and show you also I want to add when you use warbler be careful it's like I just burned myself like if you use warbler and a heat gun just be careful when you <laughs> When you touch the warbler, it's gonna be so hot. And now you can see I'm doing an edge here. And I'm, um, yeah, I used the tool just to don't, not, don't, not to burn myself. I'm so good. So I'll show you how to make the top here. I'll show you. So you br you heat it up, and you wanna like I. Uh, uh, yeah. You cut off some of the warbler and just try to make it as tiny as possible. I'm sorry for my oh <laughs> yeah. So here you get a sort of pointy. Uh, pointy, what's it called? <laughs> edge, pointy point. And what do you want? Is I want pointy, so this is what I do. My sister is expecting everything. She just really, really wanted to be in the video. Um, after you checked all the pointy things, we're gonna heat it up and and make it so it fits uh, my arm. So you heat it up on the side where the warp is. Not, not too much, you burn yourself and then place it where it's supposed to be placed or where you're gonna have the armor and just let it cool there for a second if you try and wear something when you do this so it doesn't um, burn yourself I use a water bottle just to cool it off it's, uh, it's the water is really cold so it cools faster so yeah, that's how you make, how you bend and how to put warble on and I'm gonna do this to all the other pieces so I'm just gonna cut away from that and get to the point where everything is gonna be together so see you then so here you can see with the two the two the tiny one and the big one and now I'm just gonna finish the tiny small bits as well here you see the whole bracer sort of and it's finished you can use this technique this warbla craft foam technique on any kind of bracer you want or anything honestly um, just be careful, don't burn yourself. Um, I also want to add that this is the first tutorial of I'm going to do either two or three parts. So this is part one. Uh, the next part is going to put, it's going to, I'm going to show you how to put details on. And I've already started trying it out on one of the braces and I'll show you the results on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this and hope it helps you and I'll see you next time. Can I wave by? No, I'm just gonna show off my things a little bit more. Yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye! So hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything, just down them below. You can post a comment or anything or you message me on my Facebook page. It's gonna be down below. Also, like this video if you liked it. Share it with friends if you want. Um, I hope it I hope it helped you and if it doesn't I'm sorry but just if you have questions or problems with it just ask, ask me and I'll help you as much as possible but I'll see you next time. Ciao.